Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for March 29th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, March 29th, 1790, John Tyler, who became the 10th president of the United States, was born in Virginia. He was vice president when William Henry Harrison was elected president in 1840, but Harrison died soon after taking office, so Tyler became president. He was the first president to get the job without being elected. He was president from 1841 to 1845. Also, on this day in 1848, Niagara Falls was about to fall silent. An enormous ice dam formed at the source of the Niagara River that day. Just after midnight, the thunderous sound of the water surging over the Great Falls of Niagara stopped. The silence continued into the next evening when the waters of Lake Erie broke through the blockage and resumed their course down the river and over the falls. And on this day in 1973, the last United States troops left South Vietnam, ending America's direct military involvement in the Vietnam War. U.S. troops had been in Vietnam for more than 10 years. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the saying, out of the woods. If someone is out of the woods, it means they're out of danger. You might say, Susan got very sick last year, but she's out of the woods now. The doctor told her that she's doing much better. The saying comes from the ancient Romans, who believed that the woods were a place of mystery, darkness, and bad things. Once you were out of the woods, you were safe. Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the saltiest body of water on Earth? The answer is the Don Juan Pond, which is in the Wright Valley in Antarctica. The water in Don Juan Pond is 19 times as salty as the ocean. Health tips. The word vegetables comes from the Latin word vegetabilis. That means to live and grow. In most cases, vegetables are healthier to eat raw than they are to eat cooked. And that's why most nutritionists recommend a fresh vegetable salad each day. Oh, I recommend the same thing for you and every member of your family. We love people. Instead of amending or changing the Articles of Confederation, the 55 delegates to the Constitutional Convention held in Philadelphia in 1787 rewrote the Articles and created a new Constitution. 39 of the delegates signed the new Constitution on September 17th of that year. Now, three-fourths or nine of the states were required to ratify or approve the Constitution. Delaware became the first state to ratify the Constitution on December 7, 1787. New Hampshire became the ninth state to ratify the Constitution in June 1788. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>